The technology we're talking about didn't exist two years ago, but now we're one step closer to making a zero emissions commercial aircraft a reality. The world's largest hydrogen powered commercial aircraft is being developed right here in the greatest, most innovative state, the state of Washington. This what started out as an idea over coffee two years ago. What if we used a Q400? It was just sort of this crazy idea and we laughed about it and now here we are standing in front of it. Is now a reality for Pasha Saleh, who is the head of corporate development on Alaska Airlines. It's going to make it economically possible to fly places that airlines wouldn't consider serving today uh, because there's also an implied uh, maintenance cost reduction with these simpler motors. Alaska Airlines handed over the keys of one of its retired Bombardier Q400 regional turboprop planes to Zero Avia a company specializing in hydrogen electric aviation. This is a stock propeller. This is a full size propeller for these aircrafts. It is able to deliver full thrust, full power. Zero Avia CEO Val Miftikov says the company has successfully flown three hydrogen electric prototypes. This is, of course, the largest uh, uh, system that we're putting together. At this point, the engine technology to get Alaska's 737 fleet to zero emissions doesn't exist. There's sort of fundamental challenges. So to, to decarbonize the, the bulk of our fleet, the narrow body planes, that's going to require sustainable aviation fuel. And that's, that's our primary focus. The lasting impact of hydrogen electric aviation goes beyond zero emissions. Broader sustainability, also noise, also ground pollution. And so we're changing not only the environmental impact of flying, but the economics of who can fly and who gets to who gets to fly. The development is still in its early stages, but it's expected to be completed in five years. Zero Avia does have a smaller plane that's zero emissions that will be released in two years. Here at Payne Field, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.